hoping for peace but prepared for violence. That was the message from Manchester's police chief after a Facebook event called for protesters to meet in the Queen City tonight and, quote, take example from riots in other cities, encouraging graffiti and saying, quote, police cars will be tipped. You don't know what the response is going to be with a, a Facebook post like that. The since removed event post listed a meetup spot on South Willow Street. Some businesses there boarded up as a precaution and attracted people who appeared to be armed to stand guard. Today, both Manchester Mayor Craig and Governor Sununu also put out tweets referencing threats of potential violence and called for peace. Sununu also wrote that state police and the National Guard would be strategically staged and ready to deploy to help city police police if needed. We're doing everything we can to ensure that this community is kept safe and we will continue throughout the night and days to come. So far, there has been no rioting in Manchester, but police say the man who called for it using a fake Facebook account is behind bars. He's 19-year-old Daniel Zeron of Ashland and appeared in front of a judge this morning on a charge of criminal threatening. Not guilty, Your Honor. Police say they think Zeron acted alone. In court documents, the teenager told a detective he did it as a joke. To see that people are taking advantage of the situation and starting riots and, and looting, it just goes against peaceful protesting. And I did just speak with a police spokesperson a couple of minutes ago who told me that these demonstrations tonight continue to be nonviolent. Meanwhile, as for uh, the suspect there, Zeron, he is behind bars tonight before another court appearance scheduled for tomorrow. Reporting live in Manchester, Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.